Why lie that you know people don't look at the times a little closer? Yeah. And what they're really looking at. Come on. You know, they're not looking at the times the way I look at them. I look at the Bible and I look at the times. Yeah. And the Bible shows that the times are short. Amen. And times are coming to an end. Yeah. And yeah, they, they look at the times, well, it's just happening. Yeah. Things are just happening. Well, I got Come news on. for you. Things are happening fast. Come on. They're yeah. happening quick. Yeah. The season is coming. Come on. Soon. Yeah. Yes, he is. He's coming yes, soon. He is. Amen. Jesus is coming back soon. Amen. Yes. And back to those who made themselves ready. Yeah. Let's go to Psalms, the first chapter. I'm going to jump right in on this. Psalms, first chapter, the uh, third verse. Y'all say amen when you got it. Amen. Got it, brother? If you got it ready. Amen. 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 Go for it. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yeah. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Come on. That's what's wrong with the world today. They want to prosper, but they Come don't on. want to do whatsoever Come to on. get to prosper. Yeah. You know how you get to prosper? Come on. Get down on your Come knees. On. Come on. You get up there. Get yeah. up before the Lord, and you're going to prosper. Come on. The season, the reason why I'm talking about seasons is because the Lord brought this to me two months ago, and He said, now this is what you preach at Billings. Come on. He said, this is what you preach at Billings. Yeah. I said, Lord, is this what you want? Yeah. I said, yes, it's what I want. Every morning at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. He's saying, this is what I want you to preach. This yeah. is what I want you to preach. This is what I want you to preach. So I had to get up every morning, not every morning, but most mornings, then I'm up at 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock. God saying, preach this at Billings. Come on. Praise the Lord. So this is what i got to do, what God tells me to do. Amen. Some churches I'm workers, other churches I'm preacher. Come on. In my home church, I'm working. That's what I do. I, I just work there, and you know, uh, God's given me a gift of helping people pray for people, yeah. and that's what I do. You know, God gave me the discernment spirit, the spirit of discernment. And that's what I do. You know, and when people don't have anybody to pray for them, they're in sad shape. Amen. They're in sad shape. Okay, let's go, Dave. I don't know how you would, would you say uh, it's E C C L E Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. That's what I thought it was. I'm sorry, but I I'm not real good at this reading. Third chapter, and I'll read it. When y'all get it, say Amen. 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 All right. To everything there is a season, and a time, and a purpose for everything under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. Come on. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. I'm going to stop right there just for a minute and say something about this. Mom said something a while ago that, that I know that she's going home soon. I know that. I can't stop her from going. Brother Billy, I can't stop her from going. When God gets ready for her to go, she's gone. Yeah. The only thing I can do is say thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. for leaving her here with me for a while. Yeah. That's all I can do. Amen. But I can thank and praise God that somebody, somebody like my mama, showed me the way to Him. Yeah. That's what I can do. I can thank God that somebody like my mama and led me to him. Amen. That's what I can do. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost all over me. Praise the Lord. And we're having a, a new one in our family. Another one being born. A little girl going to be born. Yeah. And I believe that every generation that dies away, that a new generation is born. 
I'm off. This happened with her father, and I think it may be happening with my mother. I don't know this for a fact, but God knows all things. Yeah. I believe the baby will be born, mother may be gone, but I know for a fact God's got his hand on everything. He knows what he's doing more than yeah. I know yes. what he's doing. Amen. He knows all things. He knows better than I do what I can handle, what I can't handle. Come on. He yeah. knows what I can't handle. He can handle. Come on. Yeah, amen. What I can't do, he can do. Oh, yeah. What I can't stand, he can stand. Hallelujah. What I cannot stand is what he can stand. Come on. When I can stand before God and say, Lord, I've done everything I can do. Yeah. Then he's going to say, yes, my good and faithful servant. Yeah. Because you've been faithful to do a few things. Come on. I'm going to make you ruler over many. Amen. Not that I want to be a ruler over anything. Come on. But if I'm ruler over my flesh, I'm doing too good. I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah. If I'm ruler over this, I'll be doing Come great. On. Over this tongue. Yeah. Because that's a hard thing to do. Yeah. David said bridle the tongue. Come on. It's hard to bridle that tongue. Because mm. a lot of times we want to say something and we shouldn't. Amen. There's two different types of kills. If you want to know, I'm all. there's two different types of kill. Yeah. Yeah. One is you can kill somebody physically. Yeah. Another is you can kill them right here. Come on. Amen. That tongue can kill more more people Size and death. Yeah. than anybody around. Come on. You can kill them with that tongue in yeah. a minute. Yeah. You can kill more people with that tongue than you can any other way. Come on. You can kill them more than you can just going out here and having a gun in your hand. Yeah. Because the word of mouth. They would go from that person, that person, that person, that person, that person. Come on. You kill more people that way. Yeah. Because you killed them with your tongue. Because if I run over here and I told him, you know, so and so, he's he's done so and so and such yeah. and such, and he's a bad influence on so and so, and then he goes and tells you something yeah. about him, then you bring it out and it goes to him. But then it gets back to the back, it's done a great big thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Everybody in this world is going to make everything just a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger. Come on. Until the tongue is already wagging itself around. Yeah. And it's going to kill a little bit more people, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit yeah. more. That's why David said, bridle your tongue. Come on. And to bridle it means to keep it closed. Yeah. It's hard to do. When somebody's talking about you, it's hard to say, back away. Come on. It's hard to back away when they're talking about you. But just remember, when they're talking about you, they're letting somebody else rest. <laughs> Amen. And another thing, remember this. When they go to talking about you, especially if they're talking about your Christian life, walk with yeah. Jesus, that you've got one on the other side that's helping you. Come on. That you've got one on the other side that's going to help you. Yeah. No matter what he does, no matter what they say about you, you being a Christian, no matter what they say about you, the Bible says, revenge is mine, saith the Lord. Amen. Revenge is mine. Yeah. And he will get his revenge against them. Come on. You don't have to do nothing. You just watch. You just watch them. Because they will get theirs. Amen. If they do something against you, the Bible said, touch not my anointing, do my prophets no harm. Amen. Amen. That means don't touch his prophets and yeah. don't do his prophets no harm. Do his prophets no harm. Come on. Don't touch them. Don't come up here and touch them and aggravate them and yeah. say I'm going to I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to hurt him. Yeah. No, don't don't hurt him. Because <clears throat> you never know when this one right here may be a prophet. Amen. You never know. He might be a prophet. Yeah. You never know. Because God turned him into a prophet. I'm one on. of the best prophets around. Because in the last days. Yeah. The Bible says, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons yes. and your daughters shall prophesy. Amen. Old man shall dream dreams. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm going to get off the subject. Hallelujah. This, right. this is the way God wants it done. I'm going to do it the way He wants it done. I ain't backing down. Brother, this is the way I used to preach. Yeah. Amen. This is the way God wants it, and that's the way I'm going to do it. Amen. Where was that? Three? And a time to kill. And a time to heal. A time to break down. And a time to build up. A time
Time to kill. A lot of people think it would be war, but like I said, it could be talking about somebody. It could be killing somebody too. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. A time to heal. There ain't but one time to heal. That's when you go to the Lord in prayer. You ask somebody to be healed by the name of the Lord. Ask them, say, Lord, would you please heal my brother or my sister? Mom. You can't heal nobody, yeah. but Jesus can. Amen. You cannot do a thing without Jesus. Amen. If you think you can, you're wrong. Amen. The Bible says not to raise yourself above anybody else. Amen. You know what it says, brother? Amen. It says not to raise yourself above anybody else. Yeah. Amen. Uh, no, I'm not going to raise myself in vote. I'm going to get as low as I can because I want to be raised up by Him. Amen. Because when He raises me up, glory to God, I will be raised up. Hallelujah. I'm going home. Amen. I'm going home. That's why i got a determination to go home. Come on. I ain't got nothing here. There's nothing here for me. Amen. There's nothing here for me now. Yeah. Time to break down? Oh, uh, Lord, I hope not. Hope I don't break down. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and the time to build up. Has anybody ever built a house or Come built on a house? It's hard work. It is hard work. Trying to do anything construction wise, it's hard work. But if you let it fall, any part of it fall on you, you know what it feels like. It hurts. But if you build on something, you expect it to stand. But you build on a firm foundation first, you start with a firm foundation. Amen. To build on something, you start on a firm foundation. And to start that firm foundation, you start with concrete. You start with digging and putting concrete in. Yeah. And brick bar and stuff like that. That's the way you start with a firm foundation. That's the way you start with Jesus. Yeah. You start with a firm foundation. That's Amen. the way you start with Him. That's the only way to go. Yeah. It's with a firm foundation. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. I think the weeping myself, we might all weep when someone has passed and mourn when someone has passed. But mama, I may weep a little bit. You're gone. <laughs> but I'm going to rejoice too. Yeah. You know why? Because I know where you're going. Yeah. Amen. I know where you're Praise going. God. I know yes. where you're going. I don't Amen. have to, no doubt in my mind. I know where you're going. Yeah. And I know I can go see you. All I got to do is stay straight. Yeah. yeah. All I got to do is stay straight. Keep my mind stay fast upon Him. And I can Come on, go there right. too. <clears throat> Amen. I desire. And I like the time to laugh. Everybody likes to laugh and have joy and have fun. I watch some shows on TV just to have a laugh. I don't watch them, you know, just because they got anything about them that's I don't try to watch anything that's nudity or anything like that. I try to watch something that's comical, you know. It's got a comical to it. And I don't like words, bad words. Amen. So it's hard to find anything that's comical and don't have words in it. So you imagine what I watch on TV. Not very much. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Nowadays, anyway. But, you know, I thank God that that he's brought me through a lot of things and he's what he's watching over me and he lets me know when I do wrong. Amen. Because I feel dirty. Yeah. And uh, when I do something wrong, Brother Billy, I feel dirty. Yeah. When I do something wrong, I feel dirty. Yeah. And I said, Lord, where have I missed you? Where have yeah. I missed you now? I know I missed you, Lord. Come on. I missed you. Now where are you at? Where are you at, Lord? Yeah. Because I feel that cloud. I feel that dark cloud over me. Yeah. I can't find him. I'm like I'm like Paul was. He's searching for somebody out there. Blind. He couldn't find nobody. He was yeah. searching for somebody. Somebody he could hold their hand or something. You know, glory to God. We'll get on to that one of these days. Glory to God. 
Let's go to the next one. And it says, And a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. I don't know about you, but I'm glad I'm glad we don't live in the days where they throw stones anymore. Amen. Because if they did, they done stone me. <laughs> because of the way I feel about Jesus. Come on. And they may wind up doing that before it's all over. Mm -hmm. It may get to the point, brother, before we before the Lord comes back that we may have to stand before what we believe. Yeah. Amen. We mm -hmm. may have to stand for what we believe. And we may have to stand for that. We may have to stand and be beat. Yes. We may have to. I'm not saying we will. I'm just saying we may have to. So we better hold on with everything mm -hmm. we got. Yeah. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to keep, and a time to lose. Yeah. A time to lose. Have you ever seen anybody get prayed for? I know you probably have, Brother Billy, and some of these other people have. They got prayed for, and just didn't seem like they got through. Yeah. They just didn't get through. And the next service, they got up there and they got prayed for again. Just didn't seem like it got through. Yeah. And all at once, somebody come from out of nowhere and just got up there and started praying for them, and they got loose. Yeah. In the spirit. Sometimes God directs certain people to do certain things. Amen. I believe that. Yeah. And God has put me in a position like that. Yeah. Where He directs me at certain times. And services mm -hmm. to do certain things like that. Not, not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anybody. I'm not nothing. I'm just saying sometimes God directs me to do things like that. Yeah, Amen. that's just a little thing. But to God is what He wants me to do. Yeah. We had a brother that that was wanting to shout here a while back. He's a young man, a young young in the Lord, and young man. He come up off the platform, he playing bass on the platform, he come up off the platform, he's going walking around, trying to get in the spirit. He couldn't. Couldn't shout. And I walked back there and I asked him, I said, No, are you trying to get in the spirit? He said, Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. The Lord spoke to me and told me to tell him, he said, Now you go up front. You tell him to go up front. And start jumping up and down for joy. Just jump for joy. Mm -hmm. And said, I'll I'll lie down. You know, that the Spirit would light on him. I told him that the power of God hit him so strong that he was jumping up and down, clapping his hands, and the power of God was on him. He couldn't stop clapping his hands. He just kept on. Amen. God Lord. blessed him. God blessed him just because I've done what God told me to do. Amen. That's the reason why I say if you do what God tells you to do, you will never, 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 ever have to worry about God saying, Get away from me. Yeah. You didn't do what I told you to. I want to do anything and everything that God tells me to do, no matter what little, how little, or how big. Yeah. Because if you do what God tells you to do, you'll never have to worry about it. Amen. I know that sometimes it seems little, things seem little, but such as a thing of taking up an offered pan yeah. and yeah. passing it around, that don't seem like a big thing. Mm. And I ain't saying that because you took up an offer. That ain't no big deal. I ain't worried about that. But I, what I'm saying is, that may not seem like a big deal, but to God, that's a big thing. Yeah. yeah. That's a big thing. Amen. Amen. That's a big thing. Yeah. Because you was willing to do what needed to be done. Amen. Right? Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. A time to rent and a time to sow. Do you know what rent means, Brother Billy? I think the word there means to rip, to tear. To tear. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and a time to sow, that means to put it together and yeah. sow it. Amen. A time to 
keep silent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And a time to speak. And a time to speak. Amen. If we could just get them two down pat, we'd be doing all right. Amen, <laughs> brother. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A time to love and a time to hate. You know, I thought about this time to love and a time to hate. So much I said, Lord, why do you want me to say that? And he said, he just, he just, well, I was just silent. It seemed like there was silence there for a minute. He said, you love your brothers, don't you? And I said, yeah. He said, you say, hate the enemy, don't you? And I said, yeah. yeah. He said, the enemy is what you're supposed to hate. Come on. Um, you're supposed to love me. Yeah. I said, yeah, that's right, Lord. He said, you can't have two masters, can you? I said, no, sir. Come on. I sure can't. He said, love me and hate your enemies. Yeah. Hate them to spitefully use you. Just hate them. Don't outwardly hate them, but hate them to the point that you'll get down on your knees and pray the love of God on them. Say, Lord, I'm, I know that these people are, they hate me so bad that they want to hurt me, but I'm going to pray them to you, Lord, that you take care of them. Amen. Not that I can do anything, but you can. Amen. You don't have to hate somebody to get along with them. The kind of hatred I'm talking about is the Holy Ghost hatred. Yeah. There's a different kind of hatred than to hate somebody. I could hate Brother Billy here to the point that I'd want to kill him. But if I if I let the Lord take over that hatred, yeah. if there was a if there was something wrong with Brother Billy that wasn't spiritually right, and I let the Lord take care of it, <clears throat> and I stepped back and said, Lord, you know this is not right in him. Yeah. Then pretty soon Brother Billy would be coming to me, brother, did I do something wrong to you? Amen. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. See what I'm saying? I was trying to explain myself. I didn't want y'all thinking I was off kilter here, but I'm just trying to explain what I was talking about. Well, sometimes I say things that ain't a time of war and a time of peace. Now, there's not going to be no peace until the Prince of Peace comes back. Come on. Yeah. And that's Jesus. Yeah. And the time of war is coming every day. We hear it every day. Amen. <clears throat> If one ain't fighting the other, another one's fighting this one. Yeah. It's like a bunch of kids. Yeah. The Arabians and all of them have been over there for hundreds of years. They've been fighting each other for hundreds of years. Yeah. Blowing each other up, shooting each other. Now they're coming over here. Blowing yeah. each other up, shooting each other, shooting us, killing us. Yeah. Whatever they want to do. They're doing Amen. It. But the thing of it is, God's got his plan. Yeah. God's got his plan. And God's got his certain amount of people that he's not going to let touch. God's got the hedge around us. Yeah. As long as he's got that hedge around us, ain't nobody can touch us. Amen. That's, right. <clears throat> That's why it's take it's pay, it's take pays to stay on. prayed up, packed up, <clears throat> and ready to go. Yeah. But I almost got tongue tied there myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Number nine, it says, What profit hath he that worketh in that he wherein he laboreth? Number ten says, And I have seen the travail which God hath given the sons of men to be exercised in it. And here's a good verse right here. It says, And he hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he hath set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God hath made from the beginning 
to the end. Brother, I got a few more scriptures. Is it okay if I go on with them? Obey the Lord. All right. It's all right. Now let's go to uh, Isaiah 50 and 4 then. <clears throat> I just didn't want to keep you too long. I don't don't like to uh, drag things out, but I do like to do things the way the Lord told me to do it. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Isaiah 50 and 4. Isaiah 50 and 4. Jesus. 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 Everybody got it? Isaiah what? Isaiah 50 and 4. Amen. Okay. And the Lord God hath given me the tongue of learning, <clears throat> of the learning, of learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He weaketh, weakeneth, waketh. Waketh, okay, morning by morning, he waketh mine ear to hear as the earth, as the learned. Yeah. <clears throat> Amen. Okay, now let's go to Daniel 2.21. Everybody got it? Amen. Amen. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Yeah. Okay. Now in the same uh, book, Daniel 7, 12. Concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. All these are about seasons. Yeah. I'll get to the point here in a few minutes. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 24, 27. Shall the mouth, thy mouth, be opened to him which is escaped, and thou shalt speak, and no, and be no more dumb, and thou shalt be a sign unto them, and they shall 
know that I am the Lord. Amen. Okay. Now we're going to the New Testament. Luke 1, 20. I read about his mouth was being open. This is where his mouth is shut. Right here. See, it's where the the Old Testament and New Testament were coinciding here together. They wasn't contradicting each other. It's where the Old Testament and New Testament were witnessing on each other. Amen. Okay. And it says, And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until that day that these things shall be performed because thou believest not my words which thou shalt be fulfilled in their season. See, that shows you right there that God had it planned in Ezekiel yeah. for it to happen in Luke. And it was a season there that he was waiting for it to happen, but just because they didn't believe, then they didn't get it until a certain season happened. <clears throat> okay. Now this is not about season right here, but it is scripture I love to read to y'all. If it's okay, it's on, it's uh, Matthew 9, 37 to 38. But it is a good scripture. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenty, plenteous, but the laborers are few. Amen. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that we will send, that he will send forth laborers unto the harvest, unto yes. his harvest. See, that's what's wrong with the world today. They don't want to be laborers. Yeah. They want everybody everybody wants to be the big dog, I'm sorry, but everybody on, wants to be the big dog. Yeah. But ain't nobody wants to be the dog that gets down there and digs for it. Yeah. Digs for the bones. Everybody, you know, you know what I'm saying. Ain't nobody right. wants to dig down there and get down to the nitty gritty of it. Amen. Everybody wants to be the big dog. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the TV evangelist, but ain't nobody wants to get down there and dig for it Come on. to get to it, yeah. get to the right place, get where God wants it. Yeah. Okay. I just got a few more scriptures, brother, and I'll be out of y'all's way. I hope y'all are getting something out of this because. Of this is what the Lord showed me to do, and I'm doing it. Amen. <clears throat> Let's go to John 5 and 4. certain season unto the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first after the troubling of water of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had 
I didn't say he was troubled of, of just one disease. He said whatsoever disease yeah. he was troubled of. Yeah. The reason why people ain't healed of cancer nowadays, brother, because there ain't enough people praying for them. Mm -hmm. Ain't enough people getting sincere to God, yeah. saying, Lord, uh, maybe I need to fast a little bit for this brother or this sister. Maybe I need to do a little bit, get a little bit more sincere about this. Come on. And say, look, I've got to do something for this person. Yeah. I've really got to do this for them. Because they need it. They need help. <clears throat> they don't love each other like they used to. People don't love each other. Come on. They love, oh yeah, they love their brothers and sisters and Lord, the ones that they're around. Yeah. But you go out on the street somewhere and you see them and they, and they barely speak to you. Yeah. I mean, barely. <laughs> You're lucky if they do. Yeah. You can almost run over some of them before they ever speak to you. Amen. Let's go to 35 in the same chapter. This is. It says, He was a burning and a shining light, and yea, were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. They were willing to rejoice in his light. You know, somehow, some way I know that Jesus talked to his disciples differently than a lot of people talk to us. He talked to them in parables. Yeah. The Bible also says he talked to them <clears throat> like he would as babes. Yeah. yeah. He said he wouldn't bring it to the wise and prudent because they couldn't understand. Yeah. He brought it unto babes because they was the ones that could understand him. Yeah. They could understand him because they could get the meat. Yeah. Get the meat of the word. Oh, here comes my good scripture here. Acts 1 7 and 8 And he said unto them It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the other most parts of the earth. Amen. And I don't think the United States was discovered then, because if it would have been, we might have had a little bit of that Holy Ghost over here. <laughs> because I believe the Quakers is what brought it over here for us. I think it was the Quakers that brought the, the Holy Ghost to us. I'm not, I'm not too much on the scholar, I'm not too much on the scholar, but I think it was the Quakers. I got one more scripture, brother, and I'll be done. Go ahead. And it's just this one right here. This is my favorite, one of my favorite scriptures right here. It's in Hebrews, the eleventh chapter, and the twenty-fifth verse. Choosing rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. That's my favorite scripture. I'd rather 
Jews to, to suffer for the people of God than the, the pleasures of sin, for Amen. Brother, I thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, praise the Lord for it. Don't ask, you know, after church, don't say I have a good job. Say thank you, Jesus, for it. Because it's nothing I've done. It's what he's done. Amen.